So hi guys! Um, last time when I gave out the free gradient pack, I had a lot of questions about how to use them, so I figured I'd do a really quick tutorial about it. So I've got Abigail here. We just did her senior photos and we hung out for a little while with her sister and her mom and her cat Kenny. True story. So anyway, to add one of these gradients on, I've got some of them opened up right here. These are some of the different ones that was included in the pack. Now for this photo, I'm going to choose something a little warmer. I'm going to go down to Sunbeam. So you just push the letter V to get this on there. You put the letter V on your keyboard, which is your move tool. It's a shortcut. Just click it, drag it up to your photo, and click. You'll get this right here. Command T is your shortcut for free transform. So I'm just going to stretch this sucker out, cover the whole thing, push enter. And there we go. We've got our background and we've got our gradient as a layer. So now you get to really play around. Right here are your different blending modes. And they all do something different. You can really kind of play here and do whatever you want. Um, one of the ones I like to use, I use soft light quite a bit. So now I've got that on top of it. Here's your opacity right here. I'll probably take it down a little. It's a little bit strong for me there. One of the other cool things to do though is you can add a layer mask to any of these layers. So I like to add a gradient to the gradient, actually. So on this layer mask, we've got over here, we've got black and white. White means that you can still see this layer. Black means you can't see it, it's opaque. And Command I is the inverse, it switches back and forth there. So I'm gonna go to my gradient tool right here. The shortcut is G. It's usually the one where your paint bucket is. So it's usually this paint bucket, but if you right click, you'll find the green tool right there. Up here, I'm gonna click on this. We've got a whole bunch of different options, which you guys gotta play around with these two. These are a blast. But this is the one I usually use if I'm on a different kind of layer. But since we're doing a mask, I'm gonna use this one, foreground to background, which is a black to white. So click OK. And then just take, click up here and drag it across your photo. You can drag it pretty much wherever you want the sun to be coming from. I want the sun to stay from kind of similar to where it's coming from in the photograph. So I'm gonna go kind of up there. And you can see that it's creating a gradient. The white is where we can see the layer and the black is where we can't. So it's showing up in this upper left-hand corner and it's disappearing by the lower right-hand corner. As you can see, it just creates something like that. So if I wanna make a haze, I can do that. Let's see, let's delete this layer mask and we'll add another one just for fun. Um, let's take this, we can go to screen up here. We'll lower the opacity even more on that. And back on our layer masks, we have a new one. I'll do B, which is a brush tool. It's this right here. I'm on an opacity of about, let's do a little more just for demonstration purposes, we'll do 50%. It'd be a little lower in real life, but hey, we don't take that long on a video. Blending mode is normal. We wanna do the soft version, obviously. Here's where you can adjust that up here too, like your soft version. And since we're painting on black, we're gonna paint away wherever this layer is. So maybe I don't want the layer in front of her face. I want her to be free of all of that. I do want it around her. Now pushing the letter X switches these colors back and forth. So black to white, that. So if I ever am painting black and I make a mistake and I'm like, oh shoot, no, come back. I just push X and I get white and I can paint that back on. Makes my life much, much easier. So say I want this a little stronger. I go click on my layer again, not your mask. Click on your opacity. Just raise that up a little bit. Click on back on my mask. Painting on black. Maybe you wanna play with this a little more. Paint up some of this. You know, make it look like she was kind of buried in some sort of leaves back here. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. You wanna play with it? Um, another one, let's delete the layer mask again. Another fun one to do, let's go to color down here. So this will actually tint your entire photo. As you can see the bottom right corner of this photo is kind of a darkish pinkish tone and this top is like a yellowish tone. That's because this actual layer, that's the color of the layer, dark pinkish lighter yellowish. Like those words, pinkish, that's a word, a real word. You can adjust this layer just like you want anything else. So if you wanted to change the hue or saturation or the 
let's say we want to change saturation you can bump up the saturation quite a bit now come back down and push your layer hold down the alt key and you have this little box here click that that means it's only connected to this layer it's not going to adjust your background so your background photo is still exactly the same because otherwise it's going to adjust everything see it's making your background crazy saturated oh my god we don't want that that's bad so we'll click on that but you can adjust your layer so maybe we want it really saturated maybe we want it desaturated something way down here maybe we want to change the actual color of the layer make it more pinkish blue or green play around with whatever we want yeah and the same thing let's get rid of that we can do you know, curves layer lighten it darken it we're getting a little crazy there too aren't we so yeah there are about a million things you can do with these but yeah that's about it see ya